Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Root Solutions video. I'm Rory Bocock and today I'm going to show you how we can stop around along the length uh, of a curve or an edge. So I'm going to open up Creo here and I'm just going to work on this component here. So by default, if we go in and create a round along this front edge here, Creo will create around the entire length of that line. Sometimes that's not the case, sometimes you want to pull that round back from one end and you know have it stop before it reaches the edge. So to do that we need to pop in a reference. Um, now this could be a plane, it could be existing geometry, um, but for this demo I'm going to use a, a datum point. So picking on my point I'm going to place a point on my edge. Um, and if you don't know there are a couple of different ways to control where a point lies along an edge. The default is a ratio, so it takes the overall length of this line and using a ratio you can work to determine the position. So at 0.5, it's halfway along the line. At 0.75, it's three quarters of the way along the line. Another way is in the data point dropdown, we can say real. We now provide Creo with a real value. So now it's 42 millimeters along this line. Okay. So with that point in place, I'm now going to enter my round and place around along my edge like you would normally. From here though, we're going to swap over to the Transitions tab, so into Transitions mode. So you can either do that up here or under the right hand mouse button. We're now going to tell Creo which end of the round we want to pull back to our, our reference point. Uh, so each end of the round has been highlighted uh, and we're going to pull this edge back to our reference point. So I'm going to pick my edge and then in the drop down, we're going to tell Creo to stop at reference. We're now going to pick our reference point. Creo has then pulled that round back to that reference point. Hit OK. We've then completed that feature. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave any questions or ideas you have in the comments section. Um, and again, thanks for watching.